Now let us talk about frequency analysis of hydrologic data. Let us define some terms. Recurrence interval. Suppose that an extreme event is defined to have occurred if a random variable x is greater than or equal to some level x, the recurrence interval with the symbol tau is the time between occurrences of x greater than x sub t. Whereas the return period is the expected value of the recurrence interval. Okay, it's the average value measured over a very large number of occurrences. The return period of an event of a given magnitude may be defined as the average recurrence interval between events equaling or exceeding a specified magnitude. So let us take a look at this example. Although this is not precipitation data, we can have an example on the recurrence interval and return period. So, ang, ang extreme event natin dito is 50,000 cubic feet per second. So, let's take a look at the table and identify those values that are exceeding or equaling to 50,000 cubic feet per second. So, nandiyan na, na-check na, no? And so, our next task now is to tabulate ano itong mga data na to na equaling or exceeding 50,000 in what year sa uh, anong taon tong mga to so we have 1936 1940 1941 42 58 61 67 72 and 77 so this is the recurrence interval between those years tama 4 1 16 5 and 5 and to compute for the return period, remember the return period is the expected value or basically the average of this recurrence interval. So the return period with the symbol of T, okay, T is equal to 5.1 years. Okay, ito, the average of the recurrence interval. Alright? Then we have probability of exceedance. The probability of occurrence of an event in any observation is the inverse of its return period. So the probability of occurrence, for example, of a 50,000 CFS later and is just 1 over T. Okay, so what is the probability that the maximum discharge in the previous example will equal or exceed to 50,000 CFS? We have computed from the previous example that T is equal to 5.1 years, alright? So therefore, the probability that X is greater than or equal to 5 uh, or the greater than or equal to 50,000 CFS is just equal to 1 over 5.1 years okay 1 divided by 5.1 is 0 0.196 okay so this is the probability that the maximum discharge will equal or exceed 50,000 in any given year so that's the probability of exceedance so what is the probability that a T-year return period event will occur at least once in N years? So using this concept of probability, we have the formula, the probability that the X is greater than or equal to any extreme event X at least once in N years is equal to 1 minus 1 over 1 over T raised to N. Now let us take a look at an example. Estimate the probability that the annual maximum discharge Q under Guadalupe will exceed 50,000 CFS at least once during the next three years. Okay, so we are looking for three years time, right? We know that the probability, we have already computed, that's 0 0.196. Ama? The probability that the maximum discharge for any given year is greater than or equal to 50,000 is 0 0.196. Okay, so the probability that X is greater than or equal to 50,000 CFS is equal to 0 0.196. We have already computed for that. Now, what is the probability that it will occur at least once in the next three years? So, ang formula natin is eto. Okay, the probability at least 1 in n years is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 
1 minus 1 over t raised to n all right so that's 1 minus 1 over t raised to n so if we uh, substitute this is equal to 1 minus this is 1 minus uh, this is 0 0.196 or we can just write 0 uh, 1 over 5.1 raised to 3 for the next 3 years so this is equal to uh, okay 0 0.48 all right so this is the probability that the annual maximum discharge queue on the guadalupe river will exceed 50,000 cubic feet per second at least once during the next three years all right And then finally, how do we compute the maximum values if we are given the return period? Okay, so we are going to use the Gumbel distribution, the extreme value type 1. Ito, uh, ginamit na natin ito kanina sa fitting. We have the f of x and the f of x for the cumulative. Meron na tayong nitong formula for alpha and mu. And, can, and then to determine the values of x sub t, meaning this is the uh, maximum value for various uh, values of return period t, it is convenient to use the reduced variate y sub t. So, it transfer natin uh, using the reduced variate, uh, compute natin yung reduced variate y sub t using this formula, the negative ln of the ln of t over t minus 1 and then we compute for the maximum value using the formula x sub t is equal to mu plus alpha y sub t. Alright, so let us uh, use these formulas to answer this one. Okay, so annual maximum values of 10-minute duration rainfall at Chicago, Illinois from 1913 to 1947 are presented in Table 12.2.1. Develop a model for storm rainfall frequency analysis using the extreme value type 1 distribution and calculate the 5, 10, and 50-year return period maximum values of 10-minute rainfall at Chicago. All right. So, this is the value. Ah, it's the mean and the standard deviation is already given, computed right there. So, meron na tayo, hindi na tayo magko-compute ano, ng ating mga uh, mean and standard deviation. It's already given. Okay, let me copy this one. Lagay natin dito sa... Yan. So, ang unang gagawin natin dito, since we are using the Gumbel distribution... I I gagawa tayo ng nung equation. Okay? Ang ating equation for the Gumbel distribution ay ito. F of x is equal to e raised to e raised to negative uh, x minus mu. Ito. Okay? Yan yung ating formula for the Gumbel distribution. And to solve for this one, we only need mu and alpha. Kailangan lang natin yung mu and alpha. So, gagamitin natin itong formula na ito. Okay? Gagamitin lang natin itong mga formulas na ito. Alright? For mu and alpha. Okay? So, unahin, unahin natin yung alpha. So, we have alpha is equal to, okay, square root of 6. S sub X is the standard deviation, 0 0.177 divided by pi okay so alpha is equal to uh, let us use our calculator now 0.177 divided by pi so 0 0.138 so 0 0.138 for alpha and then for mu yung mu natin is just equal to the x bar the mean that's 0 0.649 and then minus 0. 5772 multiplied by the alpha which is 0 0.138 so mu is therefore equal to times 0.138 we have 0 0.569 okay so we have now alpha of 0 0.138 and we also have 
uh, mu which is equal to uh, 0 0.569 now we are ready to write the equation now we can write our model f of x is equal to e raised to negative e raised to negative x minus 0 0.569 over 0 0.138 ito na yung hinahanap na model natin for the rainfall alright so ang susunod na gagawin natin ngayon is to compute for the extreme value for a 10 year return period okay what is the maximum value for a 10 year return period so for a 10 year return period we have t is equal to 10 right so ang gagawin natin dito is to use the variate data y sub t reduce variate y sub t negative ln of ln of t over t minus 1 okay so ang gagawin natin y sub t is equal to negative ln of ln of t that's 10 over 10 minus 1 all right so that's negative ln of ln of t over t minus 1 and we come up with y sub t which is equal to okay let us use our calculator negative ln of ln of 10 over 9 and we come up with 2.25 2.251 now to compute for the extreme event x sub t Okay, so ang, uh, to compute for the extreme event x sub t, yan natin ito mu plus alpha y sub t. Okay, that's mu plus alpha y sub t. So that's 0 0.569 plus alpha is 0 0.138 multiplied by the reduced variate 2.251 which is now equal to 0.138 times 2.251 that's 0 0.88 okay so this is now 0 0.88 inches so for a 10 year return period the maximum rainfall 10 minute rainfall is 8.88 inches okay okay now let us go to uh, 50 year i mean 5 10 and 50 ah Inuna natin yung 10. Okay, I think you know how to compute na yung 5. Punta na tayo sa 50 year. Okay, for a 50 year return period. Okay, for a 50 year return period for t equals 50. Parehas lang yung ano natin, yung computation natin. So y sub t, reduce variate, is equal to negative ln of ln of 50 over 50 minus 1 or 49 so we have negative ln of ln of 50 over 49 we have 3 point 3.902 okay and so for x sub t we have 0 0.569 plus 0 0.138 multiplied by 3.902 and we come up with 1.11 inches ito na yung sa uh, 50 year return period natin okay that is now the extreme event extreme rainfall extreme rainfall event for 50 year return period all right so that's how we compute and that's it for the statistics of rainfall data if you have any question you can email me or you can send a question in a Facebook group. Okay, I have to hear from you. Bye.